it was um, everything you want wow. as a horror, <laughs> you know, wow. person. Like, it would be like the next level of like a Halloween Horror Night situation. Imagine oh. that. I would volunteering. Pay, I, would, yeah, I would pay for a ticket to that experience. Dunk tank. Basically, that's yeah. my yeah. career is just a Halloween Horror Night maze. Peeps, Universal Pictures has now not one, but two little dancing evil girl character properties that they can incorporate into Halloween Horror Nights events. Will we see either one at this year's Halloween Horror Nights? So early last year, we actually had a video where we speculated that Megan may or may not be coming to that year's Halloween Horror Nights event, last year, 2023, as of this recording. Now, obviously, in the end, some of our speculation was wrong. We had thought that there would be a Megan house featured maybe as a property in a Horrors of Blumhouse house, but that didn't come to fruition. Instead, Megan was featured at Halloween Horror Nights but in a flash mob style street show that over time really gained an audience and people really loved it and fans continue to flock to videos of those Megan flash mob performances. Now this year Universal has just released Abigail directed by duo Radio Silence, uh, another film about a murderous dancing little girl. Totally different story but the similarities certainly beg some comparison uh, we saw Abigail, and we actually really enjoyed it. The story involving uh, an accidental kidnapping of a ballerina vampire and the horror that ensues when that happens um, has really gotten fans of the movie thinking, hey, this should really be a Halloween Horror Nights house. And so here's where we get into speculation. So there has been a Halloween Horror Nights speculation map released by the great folks at Horror Night Nightmares on X. And at first glance, there's nothing hinted that either Megan or Abigail would be coming to this year's event. Although there is this one little image of what looks like vampire teeth, so maybe? And then there's the clip at the beginning of this video, where Abigail star Catherine Newton specifically references Halloween Horror Nights. Now, I'm not saying that's a hint, but it's clearly indicative of the fact that even the stars of the movie feel like this could be a good Halloween Horror Nights house. In fact, the movie itself almost seems tailor-made for an HHN experience, with a creepy mansion, iconic rooms, gory set pieces, and a memorable villain that could be featured throughout a house. I know we, just like everyone else, probably just like you if you've seen the movie, would really love to see Abigail translated into a Halloween Horror Nights experience. And I do hope that Universal Studios takes advantage of the positive word of mouth that the film is receiving, and hopefully a bigger audience that it will receive on streaming, um, because it has kind of had a lackluster start at the box office in its opening weekend. And like Megan, it may actually find a pretty significant audience on streaming where, you know, people can either visit it for the first time or visit it multiple times because they enjoy the film so much. And also, how cool would it be if they had Abigail flash mobs instead of Megan flash mobs this year at the event, featuring kind of ballet-inspired dance rather than the dances that the Megans did? And hey, speaking of Megan, there is no speculation or indication that Megan will return to this year's Halloween Horror Nights event, despite being very popular at last year's event. But could we see the character return again? I mean, again, purely speculation here. Uh, but Megan 2.0 is currently scheduled to come out in May of 2025, just three months before next year's HHN event and right around the time that the film would be available on streaming services like Peacock, where the original film has gained such a huge audience. So what do you think? Do you think we'll see Abigail at this year's Halloween Horror Nights event? In what way do you think she'll be featured? Will we see the return of Megan this year or next year? Let us know your thoughts in the comments down below. And while you're down there, give us a thumbs up on this video. It lets us know the type of content that you like to see. And if you like this type of content, after you hit that thumbs up button, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so that you know when we release more videos like this and more Halloween Horror Nights coverage up to and including the event opening weekend. Thank you all for watching and we'll see you next time.